So not too long ago, I made a video about how classic well gold sellers would do some unorthodox methods to advertise their websites. However, something which I did not go into detail was how they made gold to begin with. In this video, I will show what bots in Classic WoW look like, how they work, and how you can spot them while playing. You may be thinking, wasn't this patched years and years ago? Well, kinda. I don't know how, but there was a lot of bots in 2019. Somehow, Blizzard hasn't detected a lot of these bots that are just farming things in the open world and are basically creating gold to then resell to real players in the game. The way WoW bots work is that they have a set path that characters go on where they automatically kill any mob that they encounter. Now the point of this is either to level up a character so that you can get a character to 60 without doing anything, or just to grind items for gold. Now these bots vary a lot in quality, some are very hard to detect and basically look like real human players. However some bots have some very obvious robotic movement and are quite easy to spot. So in this video I'm going to be showing different types of them to give you an idea of what to look out for. So here is the most primitive form of bot. You can see this feral druid is killing beasts in the east of Feralas. On first glance this just looks like a normal player, however if you inspect closely you can begin to see some telltale signs that this is not a human playing the character. So something common with classic WoW bots is that they tend to be in areas that are quite out of the way. Because they are afraid of getting reported in the game, they will tend to grind on mobs that are just in the middle of nowhere pretty much. And considering this part of Feralas, there's no quest going here and none of these beasts are part of any objective, and it's in a really out of the way part of the map. So that is slightly suspicious, but it's not enough to determine that this is a bot. However, the biggest giveaway when it comes to bots is the movement patterns they have. If you look closely, you can see that this druid is only keyboard turning. Whenever he needs to move his character, he will only do it by a keyboard turn, either by pressing A or D. And the reason for this is that it's a lot easier to code a bot that keyboard turns as opposed to turning with your mouse. You know, moving your character and your camera with a mouse is a lot harder to code into a bot. A real human player would use a combination of both keyboard turning and mouse turning. However, the way this druid moves is he just moves his character like a tank. So that is quite unnatural movement. Another thing to notice is that this druid never actually targets or reacts to me. Considering that I'm a high level mage relative to him, you would think that this character would have some kind of reaction, or at least target me just to see what I'm about but this druid is basically playing like I don't exist. Another thing I notice is that this druid will transform and cast regrowth at a certain threshold of health. I believe this bot is scripted so that when the character is under 70% health, it will cast regrowth. And this happens instantly, like if I deal damage to him and I take him under that threshold, the reaction is instant. Considering that this character hasn't reacted to me at all, yet when I deal damage to him, he instantly changes form and casts regrowth. But the final piece of evidence that this is a bot is that if I start combat with him, he thinks that I'm just one of these level 40 beasts. And he stands still and waits for me to walk in front of him. So if I move out of range, the bot just doesn't know what to do, as this isn't part of the script. However, when I move back into his melee range, he begins his damage rotation instantly, but then immediately stops when I move out of range. And of course, after I kill him, he immediately releases spirit. Like not even a split second later, he manages to click the release spirit button. So there you go, I'm almost 100% sure that this is a bot. There's so many red flags that this is not a human player. And to be honest, this bot is very primitive. There are a lot better bots that you can find in Classic WoW, and this is definitely one of the worst ones I've encountered. So here is another example of a bot, but this time it's a little bit better. So this is a level 60 hunter that's at the secret gorilla island in Stranglethorn Vale. Once again this is a very out of the way place that you wouldn't normally go to. It's definitely not a high traffic location, one of the places that I can imagine people would go to get some grey items while nobody is looking. And once again this hunter seems to be very in the zone as she doesn't have any reaction to me. I can jump around her and stare at her and she doesn't even target me or react to me in any kind of way. I even sent her a message and I didn't get a response. Which by the way, some bots actually have an automatic response to whispers, but this one doesn't. Now you may be thinking this doesn't necessarily mean that this is a bot. Just because you don't respond to a whisper doesn't make you a bot exactly. Although this is suspicious behaviour, it's not enough to condemn her. And as you can see this night elf is jumping a lot, something like how a regular player would. 
As jumping doesn't actually give you any advantage, you may think that this is a human player. But that is not the case. In fact, there's quite a lot of WoW bots that actually have a random jumping feature built into it. All you really need to do is press the spacebar every 5 seconds in your botting program, and it makes your bot look a lot more believable, so that they have a lower chance of getting reported. So this bot is a lot more convincing than the Druid. However, if you take a closer look at the movement, you can start seeing some oddly precise patterns. For example, after targeting an NPC, she begins an attack animation, then moves one step forward after a split second, then runs into range. Every single time. Every time this character starts combat, it repeats this precise pattern of going into an attack state, moving one step forward, waiting for a split second, then running into range. Another thing that's oddly precise is that upon arriving to loot the gorilla and then skin the body, this is all done in the exact same time. From the moment she stops next to the gorilla, it takes exactly 10 seconds before she starts a new path. And this is exactly 10 seconds, which is very unnatural for a real human player to do. But the final piece of evidence, the thing that puts a nail in the coffin that this is definitely a bot, is that she is constantly running into trees. So the pathing system that this character has often collides with the trees in the area, and she will just run into them trying to target a gorilla through the tree. I don't care how bad a player you are. Nobody tries to start combat with a gorilla while running through a tree multiple times in a row. That's just not something a human would do intentionally. And you can even see at this point, the bot moves into a tree and doesn't manage to get past the object. So the character walks back a few seconds and then starts a new path. Once again, very unnatural movement for a real human character. Nobody that has made it to level 60 will struggle with trees this much. I just can't see a real human player struggling to get past trees the same way this character does. So in any case, if you encounter these guys, you should kill them, get some free honor, and then report them to Blizzard. You can report them for cheating, as this is cheating in the game. Usually that will get a GM to check them out. And once again, you'll find these guys in very out of the way places. So you're not going to find them in high traffic quest hubs. That's just not going to be the case. They're always going to be in little weird places on the map, like this Gorilla Island. So there's one more bot that I came across, which is very odd. And this is something that I've never seen before. So in a previous video I mentioned how these gold selling websites would basically spam channel invites to players with the website URL in the channel name. However their strategy has evolved, they are now doing something even weirder. So while I was playing on Feralina I went into Stormwind and I encountered this odd player that was just walking around Stormwind in a repeated pattern with no deviation, and his guild name was the URL of a website, which of course I am going to blur out. Now of course the website is a gold selling website, so the name of this guy's guild is advertising a gold selling website and he is just walking around Stormwind so people can glance at this website's address. That is pretty creative, and this is definitely a bot. So this script is basically walking around the populated area of Stormwind, so that it gets the most amount of eyes on the website as possible. I'm pretty sure that this happens in multiple servers and different city hubs. Once again, this is quite a creative way to advertise gold selling websites. I'm kind of impressed, I'm low key impressed that they came up with this method. I've never seen anything like this before but these guys always come up with new and creative ways to advertise their stuff. To be honest, it's kind of surprising how many bots there are. In Classic WoW, if you're just playing the game normally and you don't know what to look for, you won't actually realize how many bots are playing the game. However, as I mentioned, if you look for some of the precise movement patterns that I mentioned in this video, you will actually realize that not every player is actually a human especially if you go to out of the way locations. At this stage, I mean this is 2019, I really think Blizzard should be able to detect these bots better, as I'm not the only guy that's noticed that there's quite a lot of bots around. My theory for the upsurge of bots in Classic WoW is that the majority of people have reached level 60 at this stage, and especially in the low level zones, there's quite a lot of bots just grinding up their character. I'm pretty sure the reason for that is that they couldn't have bots near the launch of Classic WoW since they would have been reported and killed, but now there's not many people in the leveling zones, these guys have free reign to bot as much as they want. At this stage I thought Blizzard would have some better detection systems for botted movement, especially that druid, that is just the most unnatural movement you can ever see in the game. Yet somehow that obvious bot manages to function without getting banned by Blizzard. It's quite shocking to be honest. Now of course Blizzard definitely needs to do something about this, 
but in the meantime, if you see a player that is moving suspiciously, you can always just report them to a GM. Unfortunately, this is a big business. Selling level 60 accounts can go for hundreds of dollars, and of course people are willing to buy gold on classic servers. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel. This is Detective Vaulty, signing out.